Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions in a video request, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please bear witness with that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And I actually know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So again, don't hesitate. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you an information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider subscribing. Because if you don't, you lose. Why is that? Because this is a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I will be sharing complete widgets and sections, highly customizable to make your Shopify store very professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications just so you can have a widget or a section. Or I'll give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and section I'm sharing, and I'll let you be the judge and I'll respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add the best selling badge on the product page on your Shopify store and only to the best selling products and how you specify that by your own method so you can specify which products you want the badge to show on and it's very easy and clever you can do it even if you're like five years old and i'm sure you're not i'm just joking without any more talking let's just get to it as you can see this is by the way shopify down team so i always start with completely new team nothing on it so each video i add small customizations by the video 70 or 80 the team will be completely different but now because it's a different chapter i think i'll reach that level by 20 or 30. It's already different as you can see. For example, you see this section right here which is all in one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon and Etsy all in one place. As you can see, if I click on Google, it will only show me the reviews from Google and so on for Facebook and Amazon and Etsy. Or check out this sales notification as you can see on your Shopify store without using a single application by using your own custom code. And it's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it, for how long it shows up and for who to show up and many, many more options. And as I said, without using a single application. But what I'm talking about in this video is actually an interactive best-selling badge on the product page and it looks very unique and professional. So the first thing I'm going to do is access some products. So let me scroll down to access some products. And yeah, by the way, all these sections I scroll through, I did them all in videos. So make sure to check out your channel, man, for the million time. <laughs> I'm just joking. So let me access this one, which is the one I always do demonstration on. Oh yeah, all these as you can see here, or this one, or this one, or this one, I did them all in videos and completely free. All these widgets are completely free. And now we were, we're about to add a new one, but it will not be it will not be here, instead it will be here as you can see. So it will show best selling product and as I said, you can specify which product you want them to show on. So obviously we're gonna keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify da dashboard. If you're already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit call. Because as I said, this is our own custom code. And the next thing we're going to do, we need to find the specific file in here. Instead of looking at the folders like this, you might get dizzy. Use the search bar at the top left corner. Then type in main dash product. Just like you see, and we see this file right here. Let me zoom in on it. Main dash product dot liquid. Make sure to access this file. So simply click on it. And after that, scroll just a little bit around 80. Let me check out what it is. Here it is 83, this section right here or actually on my website, I will put this section right here so you can just search for it. Use, uh, if you are on Windows, click on Control, click on the code first, do not type anything. Then uh, if you are Windows, click on Control F, I'm on Mac, I'm going to click on Command F, then it will show you this prompt at the bottom of the page, then simply paste in the code that you're gonna copy from, the, from my website, which will be this one right here. And here is, it will highlight it on the code. This way, you will make sure that you actually find the correct code because the line number can change with updates. So let me remove this and close this widget. So in here, as I said, you find, make sure to find this ID, which is product info. And as I said, again, for the third time, I will put it on my website. So once you find it, make sure to access the closing. Oh, I forgot what is this called. I apologize, English is not my native language. Uh, sometimes I lost some words anyway so this one right here below the section that we did find this one as you can see we need to find this one so 
in the closing bracket or whatever it is called, I don't care anymore, simply click front of it, just like this, then hit enter on your keyboard, here we go. So the point of this, we need to create some space below it in order to paste in our code. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, I'm just joking, scroll down the description box and you will see again a link from my website, click on it, then download the file from it, then simply open that file with any text editor on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in the space below this thing that I showed you, like closing bracket, whatever it's called, paste it below it like this, now we're good to go. Simply click on the save button. No, not yet, we're good to go. We need to specify, obviously, which product it will show up on because it will not show up on every product. After you did uh, pass in the code, then get back again to the dashboard. After you pass in code and hit save, make sure you do so. Then on the search bar right here, search for the product that you want to add the tag for. As I said, I wanna add it for this one. So I'm gonna search for this product anchor oops anchor again no no not anchor anchor yeah this one so after you found the product that you want to the best setting uh, badge to show up on then head to the tag section in here as you can see and simply click for, just like you want to add tag and add the tag best dash seller as you can see you can do this even if you're five years old so best dash seller not the seller, just like this, best dash seller, then click on it, add it, make sure it's here, as you can see, then click on the save button, we'll wait for a couple of seconds, we will get back in here, reload the page, and check it out. As you can see, it looks very professional, and it has interactive, as you can see, it interacts on the hover, and the colors look very professional, you can customize the colors and everything on this code. It's very simple, and even if you're lost or something and you need my help, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you the information you need. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.